Today, President Trump is again taking credit for Vice President Pence's decision to leave yesterday's Indianapolis Colts game after more than a dozen San Francisco 49ers players took a knee during the national anthem. The tweet reads, quote, the trip by at VP Pence was long planned. He's receiving great praise for leaving the game after players showed such disrespect for country. Joining me now is the host of Sirius XM Radio's Make It Plain, Mark Thompson, and civil rights attorney and former Tennessee Titans linebacker, Colin Allred. Colin is also running for Texas, uh, excuse me, for Congress in Texas. Colin, I, I want to start with you. You've got an op-ed out today with uh, some pretty strong words uh, about what happened and, and what's been going on. I explain, what's your view of what the vice president did here in walking out? Well, thanks, Casey. I think this is a taxpayer-funded political stunt. Uh, and I think it's something uh, that's happening at a time when our country really needs to be brought together following what's happened in Las Vegas with some of the natural disasters that are going on around the country, with some of the concerns that people have on the ground here. Here in Dallas County, we have 20% of our people don't have health insurance. There's so many things that people have to worry about right now. And I, I think this is just a really bad time for this kind of divisive, uh, behavior that we're seeing from this vice president and from this president and from this administration. So after he left the game, uh, Mike Pence issued this statement. He says, quote, I left today's Colts game because President Trump and I will not dignify any event that disrespects our soldiers, our flag, or our national anthem. While everyone is entitled to their own opinions, I don't think it's too much to ask NFL players to respect the flag and our national anthem. Colin, you played in the NFL. Uh, what, put it in context for those of us who obviously have not been out on the field, what does it mean to stand there uh, with the flag flying? I've, I've heard some uh, people try to explain the idea that they would take a knee as an attempt to show respect, some sort of difference uh, between taking a knee and refusing to stand. Uh, put us inside the minds of those players. I think those players are not trying to disrespect our military or our flag. I think they're trying to challenge us. I think they're trying to challenge us as a country to live up to, live up to the ideals of our flag, uh, to live up to the ideals that our military is protecting. I think those guys are aware of the platform that they have. They know that there are young people looking at them. They're aware uh, of their influence as NFL players, and they want to use that to make a positive change in our society. And I think it would just be so great if we could have a president or a vice president who could use this as an opportunity to bring us together and to give us uh, some things to work towards together instead of dividing us further. Mark, let's talk a little bit here about w what this actually means from a logistical perspective. I and mean, this was clearly uh, a political decision that was made, but they had to uh, fly Air Force Two out to Indianapolis uh, to bring the president there, or vice president there. It cost $16,000 an hour uh, and $96,000 for a six hour trip on Air Force Two. Uh, how does this look for the administration? Well, thank you for having me, Casey, and good to see you, Colin. It, it looks horrible, and Casey, you have been on these planes during the campaign and what have you. It's a pretty big operation to do this, and they even tip themselves off. They let uh, the pool know that they shouldn't even get out of the car, that this might be a brief visit. So that absolutely proves it was a stunt. And I agree with Colin. We need to uh, uh, bring the nation together, especially after Vegas and so many other tragedies, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, all the things we had. We need to bring the country together. Donald Trump and with the help of Mike Pence are still engaging in divisive, uh, seditious, in fact, behavior. Sedition is a high crime and misdemeanor, uh, Special Counsel Mueller, if you're listening. But uh, the, the notion that any of these players are disrespecting the United States, disrespecting the flag, disrespecting the military is false. Um, players have their own reasons. We know Colin Kaepernick uh, had his reason, and many players, I think, agree with him. We know about the police violence that African Americans have disproportionately endured. We know about the injustices. Um, then Trump jumped in the middle of it, and obviously a number of players, coaches, staffs, owners, staff members, even owners, came out to take a knee as well in defiance of Trump's disrespect. And then just in the past 24 hours, you got Jerry Jones threatening to bench players who don't stand for the anthem. See, I, I think we have to really think about uh, whether or not these players are going to be treated as real human beings with freedom of speech rights protected under the Constitution 
or they're going to be seated, uh, treated, as some have said, as well-paid slaves. They aren't. And they have the right to stand, kneel, sit, whatever they want to do, especially when it's on behalf of other citizens in this country who have as many rights as anybody else. Colin, can, can you weigh in on that? I mean, the president has said that owners are afraid of their players in these instances. You've been in, you know, you understand what it's like to be a player and to work for a team who has, you know, probably a personality as an owner, I guess, depending kind of widely on the team. But what is the relationship like there? I mean, how much of a threat, you know, I mean, Jerry Jones threatening to bench his players. What, what kind of blowback does, does he risk there? Or is he going to come out uh, with a stronger hand? Well, you know, these players are taking a big risk. They are. Uh, in the NFL, uh, it's, a, it's a conservative institution, and they know that the owners have uh, a lot of control over their careers. We don't have guaranteed contracts in the NFL. So I actually think that in a lot of ways, some of these guys, what they're doing is extremely brave. Yeah. Uh, and what I want to say, Casey, is that regardless of whether or not we agree or disagree, with their decision to take a knee. I, I just think that we as Americans all have to agree on their right to do that. Right. And I would hope that the owners will also respect that right uh, and that they will understand that their players are individual human beings who have feelings and who have uh, statements that they want to make uh, and to allow them to do that and to maybe embrace this a little bit and use this as a positive to raise a conversation around what we can do better and move forward together as a country uh, instead of continuing to divide us. Colin Allred, Mark Thompson, thank you both so much for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.